Hi everyone, uh, Professor Mohamed Shaw with you. Uh, today uh, our subject um, is about uh, combined gas and steam or vapor cycle. Uh, it's a famous one. First of all, you have to uh, open your MATLAB first. Okay, after you download your model, open your MATLAB. Go to your destination folder from here. This is my working folder, my destination folder. Okay, so this is my folder. Don't open it from your desktop, copy it into your main working folder and go to your uh, folder from here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay, then you have to click here for this one and sort by name and group by type. This is very important. So you'll find your f uh, files, figures, don't remove any of these. And this is air properties, uh, uh, Excel sheets, uh, subcooled, superheat. Uh, for example, if we run this one for subcooled, this one, drag and drop here, you will find your your input result, your input for the steam, as you can see here. So we can uh, deal with uh, subcooled, pressure, temperature, and solvent entropy, and so on. Okay, this is our main model. Okay, just drag and drop here. Okay, this is our main cycle. It's about a, a gas cycle as an upper cycle or top cycle, and we have bottoming cycle, which is a steam or vapor cycle. Um, both are um, in regeneration mode, okay? So we have intercooler between high pressure and low pressure uh, compressors for the gas one, and we have um, the, a closed feed heater and open feed heater, two closed feed heaters and open one. Uh, we have uh, reheat for the upper one for the uh, gas cycle and we have uh, reheat also for uh, uh, the bottoming one which is a steam uh, cycle uh, let's go through the, this one it's um, low pressure inlet air for the gas in this example you can use air and you can use any example by assigning uh, 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 two main inputs a specific heat capacity uh, for your gas if i choose to assign uh, for example 0.2 for co2 or for helium or for or nitrogen so you are running under uh, 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 this uh, particular this uh, gas um, and gamma or anisotropic index of each gas so you have to assign gamma and uh, or anisotropic index for the gas and a specific heat capacity so you, you can control the type of your working fluid however in this example i am using uh, air as an example so you can use air nitrogen helium co2 it's up to your uh, work uh, let's go for this one we have low pressure compressor okay um, so i have to adjust my position Okay, so we have here a uh, uh, low pressure compressor. Okay, I'm adjusting my uh, okay my model. Okay, uh, we have here low pressure compressor and uh, uh, this uh, intercooler to to uh, uh, minimize the temperature again, and we have another to increase the process efficiency. And we have high pressure compressor. A pause at are attached to the high pressure turbine unit, and the exit is exiting from the high pressure com uh, compressor. Uh, we go through the combustion chamber number one. Okay, so the combustion chamber number one, I am increasing uh, the enthalpy and uh, pressure of this one by heat addition. And then uh, let's go up to high pressure turbine, which is responsible for mechanical shaft power for. Uh, uh, the compressors and then we have uh, uh, combustion chamber number two okay by re-adding uh, uh, heat much heat again and for uh, low pressure turbine which is responsible for net power from the gas cycle the exhaust stream from low pressure turbine 
is the main driving power thermal power for uh, the steam uh, cycle or bottoming cycle uh, through the uh, boiler heat exchanger unit this one so uh, this is exhaust we can use this one exhaust stream from here we can use it or utilize it for organic ranking cycle for more power addition for um, uh, thermal heat process for thermal desalination for whatever you would like for heating it's up to your uh, system design and we have here uh, this one boiler heat exchanger so we have uh, this is your top cycle pressure okay we have the pressure so and we have the temperature through the boiler heat exchanger so the temperature from the boiler heat exchanger is going to be calculated from uh, the upper cycle and we have to assign the top cycle pressure and uh, this one we have to assign a top cycle temperature for the heat for the turbine number two we have bleed steam for closed uh, heater feed heater feed heater here and we have uh, a bleed steam between four between turbine number two and turbine number three for as this is a closed one and we have here bleed steam another bleed steaming for open feed heater okay and uh, we have of course uh, cycle lower cycle uh, pressure which is a condenser okay and uh, this is these are your bumps uh, uh, process here is going f by uh, uh, using a nozzle or a flashing not uh, this is flashing back from the closed feeder feed heater number one to the closed feed heater number two okay or from two uh, to the previous one number one okay we have here also uh, expanding at low pressure or flashing okay uh, we need to uh, double clicking here you can read about it okay let's go inside as you can see this is your process number one this is the upper one gases so as you can see here from one uh, compressing this is on TS diagram compressing to number two and we have here intercooler from two up down to three at uh, intermediate pressure and then we have compressing back again is a gases or the air to the high pressure uh, compressor and then going up to uh, combustion chamber and from combustion chamber going up to uh, to the uh, combustion chamber number one as you can see here and we have here uh, from this is high pressure turbine number point number six it it has the same uh, operating temperature uh, um, uh, uh, the same as the low pressure turbine but not the same pressure this is high pressure this is intermediate pressure and this is your low pressure uh, maybe atmospheric pressure and this is uh, expansion through the turbine the, from 7 to 8 it's our combustion chamber number 2 expansion through the low pressure turbine delivering our power and then we have here uh, uh, re heat rejection through the boiler heat exchanger from 9 to 10. Uh, let's go for to assigning unit by unit as you can see if you double click so surely you can go through this is low pressure uh, compressor intercooler high pressure combustion chamber number one and uh, high pressure turbine combustion chamber number two low pressure turbine boiler heat exchanger and we have here uh, this is massive ranking cycle uh, let's go for for example low pressure this is performance i can here calculate uh, some performance and such as overall efficiency or uh, gas uh, steam flow rate working ratio and so on let's go for um, uh, low pressure compressor if you double click here you'll find the code so you can adapt this code if you would like and uh, for this is your intercooler as you can see here we have this this um, outputs temperature pressure and salby and power uh, going uh, towards uh, as a signal to uh, the intercooler and from the intercooler as you can see here these are your inputs and we have here outputs going towards this high pressure turbine 
and from uh, I'm sorry, high pressure compressor, and from high pressure compressor, the same sequence as you can see here to the combustion chamber number one, and so on. It's it's a loop, cycle with a loop. Okay, uh, let's go here and ass trying to assigning our some inputs in order to make our run. Set your simulation time into zero. Okay. Uh, we can run this in dynamic mode if you would like. Let's go double clicking here. Okay. So we have initial uh, conditions which are uh, inlet temperature and pressure. This is inlet air temperature 20 degrees Celsius, 15 degrees Celsius. It's up to your design. Uh, surely, if you change this, you can change this. You can change if you would like. Okay. Let's go. Uh, you can change if you'd like. Uh, suppose I have uh, 15 degrees Celsius. Let's go and run and see uh, our results. And this is uh, the pressure. Uh, pressure ratio 9. You can control the limitation. As you can see, if you, if you can see here, this is from 1 up to 25. Suppose I would like to increase or decrease this range. You can do this. For this, for all units, you can right click here, uh, selecting mask, edit mask, and going to parameters. This is pressure ratio. The minimum limit is one. The maximum limit, suppose it's a 20 bar. That's enough for this one. And saving. Okay, suppose I have pressure ratio nine. And now we have here very important parameter gamma or isentropic index and specific heat capacity uh, suppose I, I i i can't remember what is the co2 specific heat capacity suppose it if you run two and gamma of the the, uh, the co2 is 1.6 at this uh, uh, under this specific conditions i'm running under uh, co2 working gas so i i will uh, cancel double clicking so 1.4 1.005 this is for air i'm going for air uh, uh, example okay uh, uh, low pressure efficiency low pressure compressor efficiency okay for intercooler what is the cooling air inlet because this is uh, intercooler i'm going to uh, to cool down the temperature and pressure by uh, the air so i i need uh, temperature out the temperature of, from the air is 15 specific heat capacity and uh, efficiency of uh, because this is sh uh, some kind of uh, heat exchanging so this is our uh, uh, efficiency let's go for high pressure compressor we have a pressure ratio it's the same pressure pressure com uh, high pressure compressor should assigned by um, assigned pressure ratio the same as the low pressure compressor and we have isentropic index gamma for air the same the same uh, conditions okay and now we have combustion chamber number one uh, for flames or for gases suppose we are going to use uh, methane or natural gas it's up to your design so a specific heat of your gases may be around this number the top cycle temperature suppose it's uh, 680 degrees celsius okay and this is top cycle temperature and let's go for uh, okay a high pressure turbine now for high pressure turbine gases isentropic index specific heat of uh, uh, gases mechanical and uh, isentropic efficiencies okay 0.89 98 percent and 85 percent for isentropic efficiency and this is stream outlet uh, for the combustion chamber number two for heat addition Let's, uh, we need just to assign our uh, specific heat capacity, okay, 1.15, uh, uh, okay, okay, and we have here low pressure turbine for power generation, isentropic efficiency of your gases, uh, specific heat capacity and turbine, uh, isentropic efficiency and pressure ratio, 
द सेम एज ब्रेशर रेशियो इज द सेम एज द लो प्रेशर कंप्रेसर एज यू कैन सी हियर लो प्रेशर कंप्रेसर लो प्रेशर टरबाइन है पोस हैव द सेम प्रेशर रेशियो आई एम कंसीडरिंग दिस यू कैन चेंज दिस इफ यू वुड लाइक Uh, exhaust stream from this one uh, this one this is uh, exhaust stream coming out from here okay Ex exhaust stream from uh, t gas the outlet should be only to the boiler a t gas inlet and we have exhaust and as you can see uh, steam in and steam outlet or water into the boiler and water outlet so you can double clicking and assigning effectiveness and a specific heat capacity for this one okay so this one uh, is the main heat source for uh, steam ranking cycle let's go for the steam ranking cycle it's it's a huge one as you can see here we have uh, as you can see here let's go from this Point number one is the high pressure, high temperature, which is coming from the boiler, from the gas cycle. This one, point number one, and we have expansion, uh, isotropic expansion to the uh, uh, second pressure, uh, which is uh, the number. Uh, this number are just an example. Okay, we, we can adopt it, and uh, we have the second turbine. Okay, reheat after reheat, we have here. Uh, 560 degrees Celsius. Okay. And let's go down again. Expansion through the second turbine. And we have here uh, re reheat back again. And we have ex expansion through the uh, third one. And the last one is uh, 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 the condenser pressure. As you can see here, condenser pressure. So if you double click here, Uh, let's go here and assign. Okay, suppose I should assign here temperature, but this one is should be calculated from the gas cycle. We have to assign our pressure, uh, our temperature. This one, suppose it's 560 degrees Celsius. This one, state number three, state number three, and top cycle pressure, top cycle pressure. Uh, let's go for 100. 150 it's quite good or uh, let it be 200 maybe 200 uh, bars as a maximum okay we are not allowed to go over 200 bars okay and uh, st uh, st uh, state number two this one uh, what is this pressure we can assign pressure bars as you can see here pressure number two 80 pressure number three is 10 pressure number four This is for feed heater and closed uh, feed heater. Just close the feed, feed heater number one, close the feed heater number two. And this is 1.5 is for uh, the open feed heater. Okay. And let's go for uh, this one. Condenser pressure. So we have here pressure number one, two, three, four, five pressure lines we have to assign. And we have here a, con a condenser pressure. This is for turbine for bumping. This is for bumping. Okay. And what is your uh, uh, blend total power? You are going to extract from the steam cycle. Suppose I need uh, 20 uh, megawatts. Okay. Turbine efficiency are the same for all uh, steam cycles. Okay. Let's double clicking here. Let's go for performance one. You can assign power. We need to assign power from the gas turbine. Suppose I need uh, 15 megawatts or let it be 20 megawatts also. Okay, 20 megawatts from uh, the turbine cycle, uh, gas cycle. And uh, cost, we can assign uh, such parameter. Load what is your load factor? What nine? And um, interest rate blend lifetime 25 years and let's go here okay so let's go inside here to see our uh, this is u states state number one uh, for the steam cycle uh, this is this is your steam table actually this is your steam table 
So we need turbine and pressure, okay? Turbine and pressure in order to calculate enthalpy and entropy, okay? And then state by state, and this is your state number two. We need uh, also enthalpy, okay? And uh, uh, entropy. And st st step by step, we have to uh, calculate all these. Let's go here. All these points, point 1, point 2 S, point 2, point 3, point 4 S, point 4, point by point. So we have 16 states, that is massive. And we have, in order to calculate the following, we calculate the following by the knowing of your net power, we need, uh, this is in sub 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. All in sub parameters are responsible to calculate blade steep percentage number 1. What is your, we can highlight this. We can highlight here for dynamic mode just to highlight and click here and send send your data to data inspector okay or by clicking here you can click stream by stream and click here so as you can see this is small square is to visualize your result but i do prefer to do this the following uh, highlight all the signals and select to send it to data inspector I would like to do the same here. Highlight. Let's uh, emphasize it a little bit. Okay, highlight these outputs and send it to uh, data inspector in case of um, uh, uh, dynamic mode. Let's begin for. Let's return back to the steam cycle. You can do the same for all. You can do the same for all. Okay, low pressure. LBC means low pressure compressor. IC means uh, intercooler, okay, high pressure compressor, HPC, and uh, CC1 is combustion chamber number one. You can highlight this also, you can highlight this. Uh, suppose I need to highlight most important parameters such as work of your uh, low uh, pressure compressor, and uh, uh, heat, uh, heat uh, for intercooler, a uh, high uh, working for the high pressure compressor uh, combustion chamber one energy thermal power uh, high pressure uh, turbine highlight uh, combustion chamber number two these are quite terms you have to uh, calculate low pressure turbine power uh, boiler heat exchanger we have here this is for uh, uh, transferring heat outlet so heat addition uh, exhaust as it added heat addition we can type here a uh, queue of boiler heat exchanger okay uh, kilojoule per uh, kilogram and you can highlight this one outlet gas t gas out t gas out in degree Celsius, you can. You have to type. Uh, be, be sure that the signal is on your uh, uh, signal name is uh, existed. Uh, top steam temperature. Okay, let's type it here. Top steam temperature in degree Celsius. Highlight this one. Okay. So now we uh, uh, are done now. Okay. Let's return back here. Okay. So we need to uh, uh, calculate wine uh, spread steam from uh, percentage for the first to closed feed heater, bread steam number two percentage, number three, what is your turbine uh, stages energy, net power, working uh, bumping power, heat addition, mass flow rate through the steam ranking cycle, and efficiency of use the steam ranking cycle. We finished saving. Uh, I'm sorry because this this model is uh, uh, too large. I have to take my time with this. Let's uh, hit run and see. Uh, unit by unit, click run. We set our uh, main inputs and we have to. Okay, it's finished. Let's begin from uh, uh, performance. Okay, for heat addition, uh, for uh, uh, heat addition here okay for the gas cycle this is your heat addition uh, this is your efficiency cycle, gas cycle efficiency gross work output work ratio okay this is your work ratio 
and we have here a mass flow rate so the gas cycle okay uh, levelized cost and hourly costs okay let's go for uh, low pressure compressor this one uh, okay early temperature I, I i think it's 15 degrees celsius so we need uh, it would be uh, 420 kelvin uh, outlet pressure should be three uh, in salby and uh, this is your working um, compressor uh, low pressure compressor power okay for intercooler uh, as you can see uh, these are your inputs which which consider the outputs from the low pressure intercooler input so we have uh, we downed the temperature from uh, 420 down to 400 and uh, the outlet temperature should be uh, around this one this is air outlet I'm sorry this is exhaust air from the intercooler and we downed it from 420 down to uh, 307 or 308 nearly the same if you are uh, okay and the pressure ratio is three the same pressure ratio pressure uh, outlet in Solby and this is intercooler uh, thermal power high pressure compressor okay so we uh, go up again uh, <clears throat> for the high pressure compressor it's uh, nearly 450 pressure ratio is raised up from three up to nine and salpy and this is your uh, high pressure compressor power combustion chamber number one we need 600 kilojoule per kilogram and uh, this is cycle uh, temperature and pressure nine and uh, it it is raised up from uh, 450 up to 900 kelvins so interesting and salpy and uh, this is your thermal power high pressure turbine let's go for high pressure this is power from the high pressure turbine uh, high pressure turbine pressure ratio should be uh, around 4 4.2 and uh, temperature down from 900 down to uh, 708 uh, outlet pressure should be 2 okay and uh, it shall be okay and let's go for combustion chamber number 2 I have to emphasize okay temperature back again back up again this is top cycle temperature this is ultimate top cycle temperature uh, for combustion chamber number one and combustion chamber number two uh, pressure re pressure outlet pressure and salby and thermal power the turbine this is a uh, turbine low pressure turbine for power so the outlet temperature should be 500 and four, uh, 43 degrees Celsius. Why Celsius? Because I am going to send this out to the boiler heat exchanger. This one should be sent out to uh, the boiler heat exchanger because this is top steam temperature. This is your top steam temperature, okay? Uh, and pressure back again to one. Pressure hit back again to one. And so be an outlet power. Okay, let's go for uh, uh, this one is um, uh, top steam temperature so therefore we are going to use this one uh, for steam cycle steam ranking cycle it is dropped from 443 degrees Celsius down to uh, 505.9 and this one is for the first uh, point for steam ranking cycle this one uh, this is your steam cycle we have the top cycle pressure 200 bars and top cycle temperature is calcul calculated from the, as you can see here 505.9 from the boiler and this is 505 so are done outlet gases is around 332 degrees Celsius you can use this for uh, organic rocket cycle you can use this for process heat you can use this for desalination it's quite uh, uh, normal quite and uh, quite enough for um, uh, multi-stage flash desalination multi-effect desalination it's up to you for heating for homes or something like this and uh, this is boiler heat exchanger uh, yes uh, the, uh, okay 
فسائز لیتے ہیں جس از ہیٹ ہیٹ ایڈیشن ایڈیڈ ٹو دا بوائلر ہیٹ ایکسچینجر یونٹ لیٹس گو فور دا سیپ سائیکل یو کین ایکسپلور پوائنٹ بائی پوائنٹ دس از اسٹیٹ نمبر 1 اینڈ سال بی اوکے اینڈ سپوز یو وڈ لائک ٹو وٹ از یور آؤٹ لیٹ انٹروپی یو کین جسٹ ڈو دس ڈائریکٹ دس ون کنیکٹ دس ون اینڈ ہیٹ ران Uh, you will find an uh, entropy outlet from point number one. This is your entropy. Surely you can change this caption if you'd like. Let's uh, hit back again. Okay, saving. Okay, let's go for uh, performance analysis for the first, uh, for the gas cycle. Uh, as you can see here, gross work, mass flow rate. Let's go for the steam cycle. Uh, you can explore, this is, these are 16 states Uh, so you can uh, explore your result uh, state by state if you would like uh, and solve it at state number two and solve it at state number three and so on as you can see here and solve be one you can just type here and solve be one for example uh, steam ranking cycle h1 kilojoule per uh, kilogram and don't forget to highlight this one Okay, and this is another type to explore your results. Just click here on Model Explorer and Steam Ranking Cycle, Steam Performance. You can click here, Description, Save Final Value to Workspace. I'm saving my final values to Workspace as you can see here, uh, parameter by parameter. So if I make run, I will find these results uh, are Uh, set uh, uh, at uh, uh, workspace settled at workspace so we can uh, uh, deal with it I guess I'm sorry so many parameters 16 states 16 um, in sub outlet I have to do the following and surely you would like to do it okay let's go here Uh, okay, turbine, uh, steam work net. Okay, steam ranking cycle, mass flow rate, efficiency, and shall be at 16 point and hit apply. Okay, let's make another run. Saving, hit another run and see. Let's go out here. So you will find these, these results. As you can see, efficiency of your ranking, 0.45 in Salbi number one. This is top cycle in Salbi. Okay, in Salbi number 10, for example. Salbi, in Salbi number uh, six. Okay, as you can see here, let's go back. Okay, so you can deal with this if you would like. So this is a, 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 a blade steam percentage, just one, uh, from the TS, on the TS diagram. Uh, this is Y number one. I, I think this one. Let's go for the process cycle. Uh, here, yes. This is Y number one. Y dash, okay, or Y one. So this is percentage. This is uh, between four and five. A percentage between uh, five and six. So this is uh, uh, percentage uh, number one. Number two, now bed steam number three. This is tur turbine work. Turbine stage is energy, net power from the steam ranking cycle, pumping power. Uh, surely, if you would like to to uh, convert this into a kilowatt, you have to uh, multiply by your steam uh, flow rate. It will uh, convert it to a kilowatt, not kilojoule by kilogram. This is heat addition. Uh, this is your heat addition, total heat addition. Okay, steam uh, cycle, mass flow rate, uh, steam cycle uh, efficiency. Okay, now suppose I would like to change this in dynamic mode manually. Uh, you can change this automatically if you would like or manually. Let's go for set your simulation time, for example, into infinity. Okay, and I will uh, try to run my model by changing top cycle uh, temperature this one i will change this one okay 
and I would like to change uh, the top cycle um, pressure for the steam. Let's change this uh, uh, while the system is running. Let's hit run and see. Let's hit run. Okay. Time here, as you can see, time is this is your counter time. So, I uh, firstly I would like to, uh, for example, increase the temperature, increasing the temperature. Let's see the effect on the performance, as you can see here. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I have to stop back, back again. I would like to uh, delete uh, some data from the data inspector in order to make another clear, clear uh, run. Uh, yes, we have to uh, let's delete this one, delete all, and uh, make more slots for more results. I am preparing, and uh, let's go here and double clicking. Okay, okay, for example, uh, let's go f begin from 600. Okay and uh, open the performance let's open performance okay and hit apply and uh, suppose i need another one this one pressure let's begin from 150 okay open performance and come here and uh, hit apply Okay, uh, let's make our run and see the effect on steam and uh, and gas saving. Let's hit run. Okay, uh, now I am changing uh, the top cycle gas temperature. If you change as you realize uh, uh, flow rate and salby efficiency, I'm increasing so increasing uh, temperature. Okay, let's go for the steam cycle. Let's go for uh, lowering the, increasing the pressure of the steam cycle. Okay, I'm increasing. Let's go for steam cycle and realize this here. Okay, let's increasing as you can see here. Changing the pressure will change uh, some parameters such as let's go increasing. I'm increasing efficiency is it changing mass flow rate is it changing and the power if you'd like you can change the power blend power less uh, I'm increasing the power total blend power for the steam cycle 60 uh, mega okay 75 mega 100 mega okay that's enough for now click OK and stop and let's go here so you can change your parameter manually or by using uh, data inspector we have to refer to our previous videos about that and later we can do this automatically but uh, let's go here and trying to uh, inspect some outputs let's inspect some outputs oh, gas cycle heat addition uh, heat addition uh, efficiency decreasing Gas cycle, uh, uh, gross work, uh, work ratio, mass flow rate, decreasing, uh, levelized cost, increasing. Let's go for the steam efficiency, steam efficiency, uh, mass flow rate of the steam, uh, heat addition, uh, bumping power, work net. You can add more uh, on the floor, more uh, terms on, on the same figure. You can send this data to a figure from here. Click here to send your result to a, a figure. Uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, finally, uh, I'm sorry, I have to save this one. And let's go here and uh, uh, changing uh, the solver. You can change the solver. Okay, solver, this one, variable step. Okay, make it variable step. Okay, now. Okay, uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, uh, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.